This is my wife's baby. I bought this for a couple of years back for her birthday or Christmas, or maybe our anniversary. I don't remember which. Anyway, so she keeps it uber clean, like so clean that the Samsung is gone from here. She said it was ugly. This is a Samsung gas range, obviously. And in her in cleaning endeavors, she broke the electrode. So here's our new one. Now the thing about these electrodes, all of these have a different part number. So this is a part number, that's a part number, that's a part number, that's a part number, that's a part number. They're all the same except for the wire. So the wires are all different lengths based upon which electrode it is. So if you're in doubt which electrode to get, you always want to get the longest one, that's this one. And then you can do something with the wire. Um, I got this one at Appliance Parts Pros, and I bought it from them because of the fact that they had the exploded view with all the different part numbers. If you go to the Samsung website, it shows you the part numbers, doesn't tell you which one is which. And they don't have the exploded view on the Samsung website. I don't know why, it is what it is. So Appliance Pros, they had the exploded view, so you need to order it from an exploded view so you know which one you're buying. Now, of course, you're going to want to pull it out from the wall, unplug it. See, I've got it unplugged. And since it's a gas range, you want to make sure your gas line is long enough to pull it out, or you're going to have to disconnect your gas line. Uh, as soon as you get it out, clean it up. You don't want to work on this thing all nasty. Next thing, let's get these grills off. So, pull all these grills off. Uh, that's how she broke it, was cleaning it. Pulling all her grills off. She pulled her grill off, the center one, and it hit this, knocked it off, and broke the electrode. And you should have heard the loud cursing when she found out she broke it. Now, all these electrodes run off the same igniter. So if any one of them breaks, then none of them work. Let's set this over here. Not on the new electrode. Let's move the new electrode. Move the new electrode, not on the floor. And I'm just pulling these off. So, I'm putting them over here so I know which one is on which side. Same over here, other side. Carefully lift them straight up so you don't break another electrode. Now the next thing, you're going to have Phillips. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I've already pulled them. They're little black Phillips. You can use a drill or whatever, what have you. There they are. There's my culprit right there. See, she broke it right off. So what happens is when you sp spark, the spark comes out down there. None of the others work because this one takes all the spark. So we're going to replace that one. So the next thing is swaging tool, paint scraper. And right in here, past the... Right in here, you just stick it in, go over, a little push button thing. Push it here and push it there. That's going to take both hands. Get a... And then you pull, pull it up while you're pushing that in on both sides. Um, you can do one at a time, it'll pop right off. Switching tool. Stick it in there till you find it. And be careful so you don't break the other electrodes. Lift it up. Go to the other side. It's just in between the first two knobs. Pops right off. Very carefully, because you don't want to break these electrodes. Lift it up. And out. That's why you want to clean it first, because right here is where your hand, hands will get nasty. So here's your electrode. See? Brokey broke. The next thing is there's a little clip. So I need a flathead screwdriver. You can get in here. Pull that clip out. There you go. So 
So here's my thing. I have not figured out how to get it out yet. Oh, it lifts out. So that lifts out, up and out, like so. Wires go here and into this hole. Go up, into the control panel, stop dinging, into the control panel. So we gotta go around back, and I'll show you that. So, here we are around back. You've got this little guy here with the screw. We've got this screw here. I left in, right there. I'll go to the other side. Got a screw right here. That's me. Screw right there. And then this little guy here, the screw right there. And you pop this off. They're marked left and right, so you can't get them messed up. Pop this one off. And they kind of tilt out and over. And then this. This one's got a little hook on either side, like that one. You lift it up, get that hook disengaged. Over on this side, up, hook disengaged. And then that goes straight back. And you want to have it unplugged at this point because of all the wiring. Now then, here's where those electrodes plug in, over here. Here's your igniter, and they plug in here. I don't know which one's which. They might be labeled. I want to get a flashlight and have a look, because we're on. We're learning together. So they are not labeled. What we'll have to do is just wiggle the wire. When you get up to the back, whichever connector that is, it's wiggling. Oh, this is going to be fun. So it's here. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. There it is. So let's have a look back here. And so it's this wire here. Which corresponds to that one. And then we gotta unthread this and thread the new one in. Let's see. This pull. Let me get this. Okay, there's a little wire hook here. And do that. Down and out, another little wire hook here. I can snake it through that without undoing it. <clears throat> All the while, you got to be careful. Maybe I can get a little slack in there. All the while, you got to be careful not to damage these other electrodes. So, oh, come on, screwdriver, press that. Bigger. There we go. Now will he come out? Come on. There we go. There's one. Pull that. There's another little wire tie. There. Done. Now let's get the new one. Thread it back the way it came out. Hopefully it's as easy as it sounds. Oh, no wire tie. Over there. Through here. I bet you there's an easier way to do this. Bigger. Take this right through there. Come on. There you go. Come on. Take 
Hang it up on top. There we go. Let's hope this is long enough. If I ordered the wrong one, it won't be long enough. Now what I'm doing, I'm, I'm looking. You have to thread it through that hole. There it goes. In the back. There we go. Looks like it's either way. Feel those. They're all facing with the little ridge going that way. So we'll do the same thing. That's the general idea, but it's not plugging in. It only goes one way. There it goes. <coughs> Plugged in. That goes in that little wire tie there. Zoom in a little bit. So where'd the electrode go? It's over here. And if it's the right one, it'll reach, and it does. Just like that, slide it down. Find the little clip, hope I didn't lose it. There it is. Oh, there's the little clip. that down and be careful of all this stuff is just kind of floating in here squeeze it together and then slide it in until it snaps done now let's simply put it back the other way it came apart um, so guess what's we're in the front I'll go ahead and put the front together first Might as well clean this real good while you got it out. Put it back. Be careful not to smash any of the electrodes. So you want to line everything up with your fingers. Make sure everything's lined up and put it down. And it snaps right in. Then, it's a little tight in this. Is, I have a galley kitchen. It's real tight in here. And you just don't drop anything. You'll be taking it back apart. And then, one by one. There we go. Put these screws back in. You could use a drill. Uh, this is my wife's baby, so I'm using a screwdriver. If I strip any of this out, side thread it, I'll be in trouble. Like I just almost side threaded that one. Now you don't want to tighten all these, like I just tightened that one screw up all the way. You don't want to do that. You want to leave them all a little bit loose until you get them all in. And that'll make it easier to put them in. It's a little carried away. Also be careful of these knobs when you're going around in front of it. Um, when the wife was cleaning it, she turned one on and I, I smell gas. Yeah. It will still turn on with the power off. It's kind of handy when the power's off because you can still cook. I'm going to go ahead and shut off the camera. You don't need to see me putting all these screws in. So I've got all the screws in, but I haven't tightened them down, so... Let's send them home, baby. Now you may have to like hold this. Be careful not to grab it by the igniter. You don't want to break it. It is ceramic. 
So those igniters are ceramic, plastic. Ah, so they're brittle. You can see right here, this is the one that she broke a little bit. So the spark was coming out of here and going to the side of the stove top, to the side of this plate. And since it was an easier spark than any of the other electrodes, that was the only one that was sparking. So basically, she could not light her oven. I told her, just, just use a lighter. And she's like, I'm not using lighter. Then use matches. I'm not using matches. I'm like, that's what your grandma did. I'm not my grandma. So here we are, repairing it. See, I'm doing with a screwdriver. Because if you do it with a impact driver, this is a pewter type metal. It's centered metal. It's basically a printed part, and and you can easily strip it out with an impact driver. You have to be real gentle with a screwdriver. I can feel what I'm doing. Okay. That's done. We'll put these back on. Now there's a little hole. Let's see if we can see it. These little holes, they line up with the igniter. That goes on the front. And that's why I put these on the left side and those on the right side so I wouldn't have to sit here and figure it out. I try to pre think so I don't have to think so much. All right. There's the center one. It has a hole as well. And then it's got this little, these little tangs here. Catch here and here. So, you have to line up very carefully. It drops right in. And the big one on the front. Same thing. has a hole. Igniter. right in there. Now this one is so small it just has a little notch. Same concept. Drops right in there. And this is what she was moving and she hit. So she pulled this off, hit that, knocked it over and broke it. Total accident. Now these I've got a rounded edge on here and a sharp edge on there. Rounded edge goes to the side. You probably know that if you have one of these already, because you probably have this. You at least have these off. Rounded edge. And let's go around back and put the back together and we'll be done. So what we're messing with is over here. And we changed it out. Don't forget that tie. You want to get all these ties on. You don't want to melt that wire. So, we got this guy. These, this edge slides underneath the wires. So be careful there. It's just like that. And it's going to want to kind of catch on everything. And it's got these little hooks. Hook and come on. hook, hook and hook, not hook and fall off. Hook and hook, in we go. There's your right. There's over here, same thing. It's got a hook and a hook. So you're gonna have to tilt this a little bit to get it in there. Left. And I know it's backwards. So I'm using. I couldn't see my camera with it the other way around. So it's the same way. A hook and a hook. Put it on like that. Tilt it down. Get your screwdriver. Of course, the screws are way over here now. Uh, well, don't drop your screws because it's probably dirty down there. Unless you've cleaned it first. So, there's screw number one. And again, put them in first, and then tighten them later. Screw number 
two. Screw on three. this before I send these screws home. I guess I gotta take this thing back apart. In fact, I probably should have tested it before I put this panel back on, but confidence is high! Confidence is high! So tighten that down. Tighten that down. Tighten that down. Tighten this down. Plug it in. Plug it in. Truth. Sweet. Now before, the only one that would light was the center because that's where all the spark was going because all those all the ignite this igniter back here shoot they spark of all of them at once cost saving measure bean counters anyhow there you have it folks gonna set the clock clean behind the oven behind the oven clean the sides of your oven clean everything while you got it apart might as well and that's how you change out the igniter Electrode. Igniter Electrode. Y'all have a great evening.